Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play today! We are going to do some more base cleanup slash preparing for our next couple of raids. And uh, we've done like five or six raids without us actually uh, organizing our chests. So if you guys can see here, we're kind of disorganized right now. Like a bunch of stuff that we raided is kind of just all over the place. And I kind of just want to change this real quick because like there's just, there's stuff everywhere. And I don't want to see there's like stuff raided everywhere, like in all these chests. And if someone were to get into our base, it'd be really, really easy to take all that stuff. So we're going to actually do some... Um, base modifications right now not really modifications but just trying to clean up all the stuff that we already have and um as you guys can see we we're running out of tools because we use tools to actually we're mining out a spawner room right now to uh after the spawner is fixed we're gonna have a separate spawner room other than our in our base right here so exactly what's happening is well, for today's episode, at least, we're going to be preparing for other raids. We're going to set up some raid chests so that uh, it's a very, very easy to, like, drop off stuff and pick up stuff. So, yeah, we're just going to jump ahead right into it. I hope, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the 100th episode. Uh, once again, I'm very, very sorry to those of you who were, who either took part in building and couldn't make it in because of uh, the full server or because it was whitelisted. I just couldn't, I couldn't uh, actually have everybody there, like, that as I promised because of the fact that, the server just couldn't handle it like uh 200 people all in one closed location all during the event it was just, it would have just caused way too much lag and i just decided to uh just top it off at the 100 people so if you guys did take part in the building process of that and you guys weren't able to make it i i honestly do thank you guys for building hopefully you guys had some fun building but we're gonna have more events like that in the future so you're just gonna have to stick around hopefully you get lucky next time and uh, hopefully you you actually get the stuff. So we're gonna start moving um, our base here real quick. And we're actually I want to make enough layers to actually make this go all the way up to the roof. And then I, I want to move these chests away from this current wall right now because obviously it's very very easy to creep where I get if it's right right next to a wall. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of tricks that you could use basically to to get it to. Um, What's it called? To get it to explode a chest when it's like right next to a wall like that. So let me see if I have an axe here. I should have an axe somewhere. Oh my god, I accidentally placed that. Uh, here you go. This is this axe will do fine. Minus obsidian that I just got. So yeah, make sure you guys have. If you guys are going to, um, if you guys are going to have like massive raids, I I honestly think you guys should before you even start taking on massive raids, you guys should be able to. Uh, you know, have have a setup area where you can drop off all your loot because one one of these days you guys will find a really really massive raid, and then it's gonna be almost impossible for you guys to loot everything because obviously you guys aren't set up because there's no there's no chest to drop anything off. So it's better to be it's better to be prepared than to to actually have an amazing raid and then all of a sudden you're rushing to uh, actually find chests to put stuff in. So a raiding a raiding like a raiding floor where you keep all of your raided stuff is really a re it's like the best idea you guys could possibly have because whenever like if you guys see if you guys notice a, th a current theme within me and insanity's um raids is we get we get into the raids we loot everything and then we come back and uh, basically just we basically just st start to um you know, just to find everything really quickly, drop everything off in like a really, really quick manner. So it's it's very easy for us to, um, to you know, to raid a really, really big base, and then out of nowhere, we're um, we're we're just basically looting and coming and going as fast as we can. And that's in order. It's just it's just an efficiency reason, guys. So like the more the more the faster you can get in and out, the faster there's a chance for you guys to be losing loot, and then the faster or the less of a chance that the faction can actually log on and start to defend themselves. So it's really, really, it's really, really, really important, guys, in order to like have a successful raid, to, in order to be able to raid a faction successfully, is you guys need to be able to, obviously. Um, well, I need to break this chest too. You guys need to obviously. Wow! Oh, I lost all those freaking bottles. Oh, that's so sad. That was like the worst timing. I, I wasn't looking at the messages. Whatever. Anyways, no big deal. But yeah, you guys need to be able to get in and out really, really quickly in a short time notice. And the only way to do that is if you guys have stuff pre-prepared. So like, either your chests are pre-prepared uh, for uh, being able, being ready to take in uh, the stuff. So like, as you guys can see. All of our stuff is pretty organized here at our faction home. 
And um, the more, I mean, the more organized you are, the easier your life is going to be. Like, it's it's really that, it's just that simple. Like, um, if you, the more organized you are, it's a lot easier to find stuff. So if you're getting raided, you can easily find your armor and gear up before they, like, spawn kill you. It's just a lot of, di a lot of those separate or different reasons that um, take part in actually building a base that kind of, kind of can make you the best faction without people even knowing fully what your name is or who you guys actually are so keep that in mind guys if you guys are going to start um hold on is this lined up that's not lined up god dang it oh geez all right let me move this i gotta move this over again oh geez i didn't plan that properly all right so let me hopefully i don't lose oh well do you get we get a majority of the stuff through kits anyway like this potion stuff so hopefully it's not too bad so let me just put all this in here. I think this was four. This was five. Do 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 And then all the glass bottles were in the bottom. So there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Fill those up. This was four, I think. Put all the redstone back. Golden carrot. So this is basically all of our potion making stuff. So whenever Insanity feels the need to make potions, we kind of just go into this chest and grab whatever we need. And it's a lot easier to find stuff. As you guys can see, like if we ever need potions in a quick hurry, short time notice, all he has to do is find this one chest and then we're good to go. We just kind of, we're kind of just going in and out and um, it's a lot easier, guys. Just trust me on this. If you guys, oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, hopefully it doesn't clear lag. Come on. These enchanting bottles are my baby. I don't know. Something about enchanting bottles. I love collecting them. Did it clear? Oh, I think it cleared some. I lost a couple stacks. Oh, well, no problem. So, yeah. Here we go, guys. We're, we're basically just organizing all this. I know all these chests are already organized here. So, I'll probably move those in the end. But I really, really, really want to... Oh, there's the, the enchanting bottles went down here. There we go. Okay. So, I need to... I need to look at the stuff like all these tools so then I could start actually let's 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 find the stuff that I want to throw away first so these are only efficiency three so I don't really need these so let me throw those efficiency three, three away I want I want to only keep efficiency four and uh, five and then all these junk enchantments I don't really need I don't really need swords anymore I have chests and chests filled with swords so I'm gonna kind of just throw those away actually I'm gonna keep a spare chest here this will be like my giveaway chest like if I don't really if, if it's a good item that people would want and I don't think uh, I don't think it'd be a, a waste to just throw it away I'll, I'll keep it in there so hopefully if, if somebody wants something they could they could find it uh, let's see so I want to finish off this little layer up here and then fully prote water protect these chests and then let's so let's put this here so there's gonna be a wall a little hang out right here that we could walk past and then we're probably gonna want to put slabs on this front end here so the, the stuff doesn't fall down and then I think that's basically the major design of my little so I, I've seen a lot of people like mimic this uh, chest room and it's probably the most efficient chest room that you guys could have it's water protected it's really really easy to access stuff and you guys just kind of have to memorize where you place stuff so let's go ahead and continue so this is prot 3 so someone's gonna probably want that prot 3 so we're gonna put that in there we'll have maybe a giveaway or something of some sort I'm gonna grab all these spawners so it doesn't get raided in case somebody does make somehow manage to make it inside and then let's just put it all in here like so and uh all right so here's all the shovels i'm actually going to keep all these shovels because uh insanity lost all the shovels or we kind of used them all when we were moving uh from base to base so i'm just gonna kind of uh deposit all this in here not really looking at the efficiencies for those tools um more organizing more chests look at look at like some of these enchantments are just amazing like efficiency four like it literally got enchantments and uh let's see let's see put this here let's just put throw these in here fill up that chest that should be good and i'll throw those back in there um do i have I, I'm, I'm pretty sure i have another tools chest here wow i need to really organize stuff let's put another chest here I can throw that away and let us get some of the stuff that I actually want do I have any prop 4 in here if I have some prop 4 these here's some prop 4 
Oh, there's my axe that I put. Prop four, prop four. I can put this in my. I can put this in my vault. So home vault. Let's get this vault area here. All right, put those god apples back in. I need to. I need to buy more god apples soon, just so this is filled up and looks all nice. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's put this here. Actually, let's grab these and then. Uh, replace them so they're in a perfect row and then where's my repair chest so i'm kind of waiting for fix all to be fixed in order for all this all this junk right here to be i have one m shane's head and cool connor's head i already have their head so i'm probably just gonna burn those but yeah so as you guys can see i'm not fully organized right now i haven't taken the time i was kind of just going raid to raid to raid to raid and i i really need to take the time take a step back and take the time to um maybe organize the rest of it so i'm kind of just showing you guys what kind of happens off of camera like i mean it's it's really really fun to watch raids obviously but you you guys should know that you know uh factions is not all about raiding sometimes it's all about keeping or keeping yourself organized uh keeping your faction organized and everybody like kind of knowing where everything is so on a short notice if somebody needs something we could just basically hand them that stuff like really really quickly uh let's see let's see let's see so I said I was going to burn this stuff. Uh, burn, burn, burn. I don't really need that. Can add that there. Burn those diamonds. Don't really want those right now. Too lazy to actually put them in the chest. Oh, uh, here's my... Here's I need to put this in here. I'm not sure if that's mine or if that's uh, Insanity's. I don't remember. And Oh, I know this one's mine for sure. Somebody gave that to me. Uh, let's see. Let's throw these away. I don't really need this junk right now oh there's more enchanting bottles in there i'm so unorganized right now and i i honestly I, I was gonna do a raid this episode but i'll probably do one on the next one i i just honestly wanted to get fully organized and uh get my faction back on track to being like organized and you know just knowing where everything is making ourselves more powerful without people really knowing well technically you guys do know because obviously you guys watch all my videos or all the faction videos and you guys are just doing a crazy like uh, with the faction videos all these faction videos you guys are just like literally 2000 of you guys every single day watch my videos and you know you guys might think that that's a really really low number and i'm just over here sitting here astounded i like i honestly don't think that i'm that entertaining but i guess i get i guess i teach you stuff i guess i am entertaining to some point and uh, I really do enjoy recording this this stuff for you guys. Like it's one of like factions is probably like the high one of the highlights of my Minecraft day. Like it's I look forward to recording factions. It's really really fun getting to interact with everybody. I mean I do tend to try like ignore some people in the chat like when I'm recording sometimes. And I do apologize. Uh, I can't even talk. I do apologize for that. But you know. It's kind of it kind of goes with look look at all the stuff we raided. It kind of goes with just uh, being part of like being an admin on the server and then also being a YouTuber. So I get spammed almost as frequently as the owners do, and you kind of just learn to deal with it um, through your own means. And I try not to ignore people, but you know it's just some sometimes it's just it's just not possible to just you know just make sure everybody's happy. Uh, let's see, let's grab all this stuff. I can throw all this stuff away. I want that. I don't need this. So this is kind of just what I go through when I'm organizing stuff. It's 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 not too hard. It's not it doesn't take too much time. I mean, it does maybe like 20 20 or 30 minutes if you if you guys organize every day and keep everything organized. It's really really easy to actually find the stuff that you need on a um in a short notice so there we go i'm, I'm gonna end the episode right here guys um i don't really need to show you guys any anything else if you guys if, just the quick tips as I, as I was saying you guys just need to keep your your faction organized in order for you guys to actually in order for you guys to actually be successful and you know this is kind of one of the reasons why um it's kind of one of the reasons why like god squad surge myself sanctum and like team nudist it's kind of why we're kind of the op servers or the op factions on factions green is because we keep everything organized just look at all of our videos look through maybe raids that we do on each other like just look through all the all the freaking chests like everything is just nice and organized everything can be found very very easily and uh i mean some to obviously there's moments where some of the stuff isn't organized but you know that's that's normal but 
um, keeping keeping everything organized to the best of your ability is probably the best way you guys can be a faction and be like a united faction and everybody knowing exactly where everything is. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm probably just going to keep organizing this off of camera because there's a lot of stuff to break and a lot of stuff to water protect. But uh, in the next video, if I do remember, I'll probably do an, a quick update and show you guys exactly what I did to this little area right here. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. This is D-Field organizing the base and setting up for some future raids. And we will see you guys.